What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're actually gonna be doing our whole um, flip kit. So um, I went ahead and started this one this morning over here. Excuse the mess, I got a big mess here. Uh, so I got pretty much everything. I pushed out, pressed out the actual bushings. So we got new bushings front and back on the leaf spring and we flipped it around um the only thing that i have yet to do here though is um put the saddle and then put our u-bolts and everything and tighten everything up but the differential right now it's pushed a little too much um as you guys can see it's not aligned i need to push it more that way but before i could push it more that way i think the leaf spring is kind of catching it so um i'm gonna loosen up remove all the leaf spring all there so i'm uh, pretty much going to show you what i did on this side but on that side um to remove this bolt here the gas tank wasn't too much in the way i had to cut a little bit over and i just flipped it around the bolt so i don't have to remove the um gas tank like you do on the 07 to 13. i'm not sure if you had do have to do that on the other ones but um i just cut like maybe half an inch off the bolt and it was able to get removed so and then i just flipped it and installed it the other way that way if i ever have to take it off or do anything it's easier to take it off all right so um ignore all this side like i said we're pretty much on this side we're like 80 percent done we still have to do our our drop shocks on this side and then the u-bolts and it's pretty much it but like i said i need to move the differential more that way before i can move it more that way i do need to remove all that side so let's get started if you guys are doing this at home it makes it a little bit more difficult without a lift i had to put a couple of jack stands here to keep the frame from moving around and then um we are going to end up replacing this so right now it's pretty much on the floor which i don't care like i said i'm going to remove all this anyways so don't worry about that let me go get another jack so i can jack this up a little higher so i can fit my impact gun and remove the U-bolts. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna start by removing the shock. So I think I'm using a 21. Oh, I gotta go the other way. I need a smaller impact because this one is very hard to reach certain places. Oh my God, look at that. Can't even reach it here. Okay. I need to remove this one. all right so this one is our shock bolt from the bottom now let's remove the top one i think the top ones are like 13s it's a hot day today guys i do not want to be doing this outside but kind of have to nobody's gonna do this for me Nobody's gonna do this for me guys, so might as well get started on this. Shock is out. Let's see if we can reach my impact to remove these U-bolts uh, down here. I should be able to know I might have to lift it up a little bit more all right let's try our best to 
zip these out. Zippity doo da. Zippity. Uh, these U bolts are really rusted, so I, I did purchase some new ones to change these out with because these are really bad. <clears throat> Oh man, they're just really rusted. This is what I mean, look. This one's, look. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all rusted, so I'm surprised these even lasted. All this stuff is rusted. There's a bunch of like dirt here. I gotta clean all this off, and then we're gonna spray paint that too. All oh, that's trash. Yeah, I think we're ready to just unbolt this. I'm also using a 21 for all this stuff. And just an adjustable. take this one out all right guys time to press these out I have my little press here um, this is a hard part because I'm by myself so trying to press these out by yourself is a challenge all right guys I'm just gonna press these uh, these bushings out of here I'm gonna do this by myself, so I'm gonna turn off the camera because this is a dangerous sport right here. But anyways, you guys can get pick this up at Harbor Freight. Uh, I think I picked it up for uh, like 150. Oh no, you guys saw the vlog. I don't I remember how much it was. I would think it was like 150 or something like that. But I got a build, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and press these out. I'm just gonna be using one of these. Bada bing, bada boom, straight in there. Press it out, and then um. Put the new ones in so i'll catch up to you guys when i'm all done here all right guys just pressing on the last bushing here already did the other side so it's not that hard honestly it's just making sure you have the right um tools for this job i was just gonna go ahead and purchase a brand new set of leaf springs but uh, it was cheaper just to get this tool plus I can use it for the future and The bushings were super cheap. I think I paid like 20 bucks for the bushings or something like that so That way we can Retain everything factory and OEM I got AC Delco bushings Oh, yeah, nice and lubed up too So there we go this is all finished and done so let's go ahead and install it It went like this, like this. Okay, let's check the bushings, yes. So we do have to reverse this, the bolt for the leaf spring. So go ahead and grab some vice grips and uh, this clamp to clamp everything down. Clamp everything down and I don't remember what size this is. Let's go ahead and hold it from this side. Uh, 
I go 15. Yeah, 15 guys. Let's go ahead and remove it. And all we're gonna do is flip it around to the other side, as so. I hope you guys can see clearly. There you go. And then just tighten it this side. And we're gonna clean up the rust here too and paint it along with the, um, the diff and the axles. All right. All right. All done. Go ahead and remove this clamp. All right. Let's grab our uh, wire wheel and clean this up. Oh my God, there's so much dirt, guys. Let's get this all cleaned up. Give it a quick coat of paint so it doesn't rust. And then bada beam bada boom. So oh man. Quick coat of paint. All right, let me put something and put this on the bottom. <clears throat> so I can... All right, just gonna give it a quick coat of paint. All right, so we don't have any rusting in the future, you know. We're not trying to make it look pretty or nothing. It's just to keep it from ever rusting. Yeah, you gotta clean that up too. And then this one. This one. All right. Let's go ahead and clean these areas off. All right, guys, I'm going to give that a few minutes to dry and then we can go ahead and install everything and we should pretty much be done with the whole flip kit part of it. It's getting kind of late already, so I want to at least finish as much as I can. Install the leaf spring and then maybe sit it on its wheels and tires just so I can see how it looks because right now I feel like the differential. Uh, we did have our drive shaft pop out of place um, because we left we let it roll forward. I shouldn't have done that. I should have had two jack stands always on it, but I didn't. So if you guys are doing this at home, make sure you guys use two jack stands. One of them to hold the tail end and the other one to hold the front part. Um, otherwise your diff is gonna move forward and it's gonna slip out of the transmission. So I'm gonna have to reinstall that. Um, I, I was planning to reinstall it anyways, cause I think there's a 
gasket there or a seal that, I, that it was leaking a little bit so i might as well replace that while i'm at it but um that's pretty much it for the flip kit so i'm gonna go ahead and grab our um rear uh shackle put that on here and then that's it uh, we really don't want any squeaking in the future so let's go ahead and apply some of this uh grease on the inside of our shackles here i'm not sure if you're supposed to or not i like to do it like i said i like to prevent any type of uh noise last thing you want is to finish your installation and have it all noisy and squeaky and uh, you know so just put a nice little glob on there same thing with the inside of here and the inside of over here all right i'm also gonna do it on the outside of here and this is probably overkill but like i said i like to do it you guys make your choices if you guys want to do it or not all right so there we have it like i said i'm gonna head and install this part here on the inside of the shackle inside of the shackle oh man oh man there we go and then we're not going to tighten these up we're just going to snug them up and then we're actually going to install the front part first so go ahead and i really need to clean up this mess guys because it's making my work environment a little bit messy. But, all right, we're gonna start with the front part here. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's grab our hardware, everything that we're gonna need. All right, guys, so we're gonna put this side first, like I said. Grab our bolts and get them ready. Let's try to align our holes as much as we can. And then, all right. All right, that's it guys. So like I said, we're gonna kinda loosely put everything here. We're not tightening anything yet we have to line all this stuff here so go ahead and grab your other bolt here we go get it ready there's no <sighs> all right guys there we go all right i thought i was gonna be have to cut these pipes down for a second there it wasn't it wasn't going through but we got it we got it there we go all right I'm gonna snug all these with the impact. Like I said, I'm not gonna tighten anything yet. We're just gonna snug it up. All right. So we just kind of snugged everything up. Nothing's on there too tight. Cause we still want it to move freely. Um, so man this head's going a lot quicker which is good because the sun's going down so we want this to go quicker so um we're gonna go ahead and install this piece here kind of goes in that hole to keep it in place 
and then uh, we do have our new u-bolt and we do have the saddle sting and the saddle goes like this with the spade towards the front we want it to go in that spot right there looks like it's going right in there we go all right you saw that guys um we gotta bring it up a little bit higher there we go right in there right in there right in there guys so let's get our u-bolts so we're gonna use a um stock washers because i don't like these little crush washers so i'm gonna go ahead and use these stock these stock washers here we go and here's the other one all right and there we go and then let's get our bottom plate if you guys are installing this ihc kit the spade part i don't know why it doesn't tell you in the instructions but the speed part goes to the back and on the saddle the speed part goes to the front which is weird because this hole needs to align with the hole of the bolt that we took off so that's the only way it'll go in guys there you go something like that we're not going to torque anything down until everything's on the floor until we have our wheels and tires and everything on all right let's do our shocks now these are gonna be our shocks right here but do we really need like the shock extenders for a 3.5 kit you know what i mean that's what i'd like to know i'd like to know that this one does have an eye on top and then a regular thing on the bottom so we're gonna do this one on the bottom like right here right we do have shock extenders i'm not sure if we even need them for this kit um because I, like i said i had originally ordered the four um four six kit and then i ended up going with the three five so i'm not too sure if i do need this or not but um i mean i'm gonna run it see how see how it works see how it drives Okay, now this one. <clears throat> Oh my god, what the hell? How the hell is this one supposed to work? <sighs> oh. Alright. I don't know why this doesn't come already pre-assembled. Alright, let's go ahead and install our shocks on. There we go. something like that let's install the top part first let's use our stock hardware no no
You put this on backwards, my friend. You put this shit on backwards, my friend. Ah, okay. All right, guys, I put this on backwards. So don't do the same mistake I did right now. Okay, because this thing's actually the other way around. Yeah, it goes like this. It goes like that, and then like that. But see, I don't like that this is, I mean, I, I feel like it can fit one of them in there. You know what I mean? Because this is too, too wide. I don't know if once I install it, all right, guys. Well, the instructions say it, I see that this part is on the outside of it. I don't know if this is going to close up, but I'm just going to install it how exactly how the instructions have it. And then we'll see in the future if I have any issues. So I'll be your guys' guinea pig. We'll see if you have any issues here. Because this seems like there's too much space here, honestly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Seems like there's way too much space here. Here's what I mean. Look. I mean, it can close up, but I feel like this part needs to go. There's room for one of these to go in here. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. You guys don't want to miss the next video. We're going to be upgrading our brakes. So anybody that has OBSs, you guys will be able to tune into that. And stay tuned for the next one.